I was reading it, and I just felt like somebody here tonight needed to hear it. And I also felt like the devil needed to hear it from us. You know, sometimes uh, we've heard a lot said lately about strengthening ourselves in the Lord, and there's a reason for that. There's a reason we've heard a lot about it. There's a reason preachers have said it, not only here, but we've been in other states. Everybody's saying it. Everybody is saying it. Pastors are saying it. Preachers are saying it. The laity is saying it, that there's times you have to just strengthen yourself. Come on. Uh -huh. And that's not easy to do. No, sir. But it can be done. That's right. That's right. It is possible. I've done it. You've done it. And, uh, you know, and it's hard to do when you don't agree with the circumstances. Oh. Yeah? It really is. But I believe it was Brother Sparks a few services ago. And, of course, I preached from it. Other, nearly everybody's preached from it probably. And, and, and preached from the verse where Paul told Timothy that, that he knew that it was in him. He said, stir it up. I know it's in you. Paraphrasing. He said, it was in your mother. It's in your grandmother. And I know that it's in there. You got to stir it up. But I saw this. And, and I want to read this to you. And I've read it here a long time ago. And you might remember it. But, but you, just, you, just, you just listen to this. A little brown cork fell in the path of a whale who lashed it down with his angry tail. But in spite of its blows, it quickly arose and floated serenely before his nose. Said the cork to the whale, you may flap and sputter and frown, but you never ever can keep me down. For I am made of the stuff that's buoyant enough to float instead of drink. I'm going to tell you, I, I know that d d discouragement is, is, is one of the toughest things to fight through. And to be able to look in the mirror and look in your own eyes and say, I know it's in there. I just got to figure out how to get it out. You might think I'm crazy, but there are times that I've stood and I've looked in the mirror and I've looked in my own eyes. I know, I know. I, come on now. I've not fell off the cliff and went nuts. But there's times that I've had to do that and I've said, there's only one person in this room right now that can make it happen. And that's you. That's right. How many times you've been riding down the road and, 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 and or, or, or at home and you said, Lord, just let somebody call me today. Or just let somebody. Me and my wife's talked about it. And countless times she's told me that she's prayed that way. And she said, I'm, I'm getting discouraged because the phone don't ring or the text don't come. I thought of that when I saw this little poem again. I said, well, sometimes, sometimes we just got to be the, the material, the stuff that's made in the court that says, I am going to float instead of drown. You can flap, you can flutter. You can smack, you can knock, you can raise. Oh, I know it's a mouthful. I know it is. I know it is. And I know the devil's listening, but I want him to hear it. And I think you ought to hear it tonight. We ought to be able to tell him because Christ that's in us. You hear what I'm saying? That's not old news. That is reality today. If we're saved in the blood of Jesus Christ is in our hearts, can we say amen? Are we a saved people tonight? I said, are we a saved people or not? If we are, we can lift our voices and say, Devil, because of the Jesus that's in me, I will float and not drown. Brother Rodney, I refuse to sink. Hear me? Brother Odell, I refuse to sink. Stay on top. I didn't say I would feel like being there. But I said I'm going to stay there. Yeah. Come on now. Oh, I don't know. I'm done. Right. That's, that's all in the time. I mean, there's just sometimes, sometimes, we got to do it ourselves. Now, I don't mean get a bad attitude about it and say, bless God, how? It's all about me. No. No, 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 no. The 
more we think that, the less we are. You know what I found out lately? I'm not half as much as I thought I was. How many times have you ever heard the saying, you know, and, I, and we probably shouldn't say it, but we do. We see an individual and we say, buy them for what they're worth and sell them for what they think they're worth. How many times have we ever said that? We make the comment ourselves. You know, sometimes we look in the mirror and we need to say that to ourselves. You're not worth what you think you're worth. But with God, I can do Put your hand in his hand. Yeah. Oh, come on now. I said, put your hand in his hand. Peter, with all of his pride, Peter, with all of his flamboyant loudness, all of his haughty, arrogant ways, he still said, Master, save me. And did the Bible say Jesus well son I'll pray about it I'll see if the father wants me to do that Immediately He reached down and took him by the hand And pulled him up out And I've heard many a commentator And I read after some commentators And heard actually a I think he's a Baptist preacher on the radio State and say That if you follow the life of Peter all that was happening there was Jesus was pulling out all the good that was in him. He was trying to get Peter out of the way to the place where he could do something with him. I'm telling you not. I know, I know we are living in an oppressed time. I heard that when I was a kid and didn't know a clue what they were talking about. We didn't have not one bit. My ears would perk up. Grandpa would get up or my dad or somebody. My uncle or somebody in the church. Some evangelist would get up and say, We're living in a press time, people. We got we to gotta press and we got to pray through. We gotta, I have a clue on this. I didn't hear it, but I didn't know what they're talking about. But now I know what they're talking about. And now it's even more pressed than it was then. We're dealing with things they never even knew was going to be invented. But I refuse, Brother Harold, to sing. Because we're made of the stuff that's buoyant enough to float instead of drown. If you drown, it'll be simply because you quit trying to float. Come on now. Listen to me tonight. From tonight on, from the rest of this service on, and I hope I didn't kill it. I didn't mean to. I just I felt it on my heart when I left the house and I saw that in my Bible. I said, I don't know who's gonna be there, but somebody needs to hear that. So I'm done. But whatever else we do in this service, I'm going to tell you. You've got to. That song that, that she just sang. Hey, this that we have, this that we are. Hear me? I said this that we are, Sister Kim. We are something. You know what we are? We are the children of the living God. I, I watched. I watched the other day. I went, went to the doctor for one of the many visits that I wasted a bunch of time going to. But they stuck a thing in my arm. Started pulling that blood. Brother Danny, I looked over at that. And it was filling up that vessel, filling up that little tube, you know. <laughs> Woo! And I looked at that and I said, but I don't feel like much right now. And I'm feeling pretty rough. I'm feeling like garbage. I'm feeling awful or I wouldn't be here. They don't know it. They can see it. But that's really royal blood they're taking out of me right now. Come on, you all ain't getting that. Come on. Yes. Woo! Hallelujah. People, there was a change made, Brother Ralph Cruz. Right. Royalty. Listen, when I walk out these doors, I don't have to have a proud, haughty, high-minded attitude, but I can walk out and grab a hold of my shirt collar and say, I am a royal child of God. My father owns a cattle of a thousand hills. Come on now. I'm a, he, I'm a child of the king. Yes, I am. I may feel like I'm at the bottom. I may be going through the roughest trial I've ever fallen in my life, but I'm still. I'm, somebody said, what kind of God would that be to knock you down? Hey, sometimes... Sometimes he just gets you down just so you can see that it takes him to pick you 
Sometimes he does it just so we know we have to depend on him. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we ought to do in this service. I mean we ought to just do it. And I'd love to get 100%. And not for me. But it's something that we just we just don't do it. We don't take the time to do it in the service. And that's just stand up. Lift our hands. And worship the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. And while you're doing it, reach down deep inside of you and say, Devil, I made it a step. I made it a step. I'm going to flow. 